Good morning, friends. It's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living, and it is the last day of day camp. So I just dropped the kids off, and uh, my husband's home with Maze. They're still in bed when I left, and I'm just over to the Dollarama. I'm going to run in there because I want to pick up a couple more pizza pans. Uh, Misha's other birthday party is tomorrow, the one with all her friends and cousins and stuff like that. So she wants to have pizza, and I usually make pizza for birthday parties, or for her birthday party anyways. And I was kind of hoping for burgers and hot dogs, but we had that yesterday. So when I make pizza for a birthday party, I make 10 pizzas at a time. And um, I don't have 10 pizza pans, so I'm going to go in and pick up a, a couple more pizza pans and try to do as much pizza prep work, like cut up all the toppings and shred all the cheese and make the dough. I just won't rise it. I'll wrap it up and put it in the fridge till tomorrow. And then I gotta clean up the house and I gotta make the treat bags and I gotta make the cupcakes and I gotta do this and that and this and that and I need your guys' help. Yes, I do. I do, I do. So anyways, I'm gonna spin in there and get my pizza pan. All right, I got my pans, picked up a couple other little things, and now I'm at the superstore. I'm gonna go in and get some cheese and stuff for the toppings of the pizza, because I know I have a little bit of cheese at home, but not enough. And then I'm gonna pop over to Walmart if I have to. Um, I need to get Maziah and Misha both a new book bag, because uh, Maziah's zipper broke on hers yesterday, and Misha has a great big tear in the bottom of hers. So, yeah, I'm just gonna try to do it all in one foul swoop. And then when I get home, I can stay home. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm home. It's 9.37. And I'm going to show you my messy, messy house from yesterday's party, like when family were here and all the food and the frenzy and the toys and the everything like that. Because I'm going to go full force and try to clean up as much as I can before Maze gets up and my husband gets up and my teenager gets up. Uh, yeah, everybody stayed up late last night because it was Misha's birthday. So let me just show you. So here's my kitchen. I'll show you what I got at the store after I get cleaned up. I just want to take advantage of this time. Oh, there's a sock. Here. The toys Misha got and leftover birthday cake. Here. That deflated mattress I gotta roll up. Yep. And here, the living room. Unfolded blankets, dishes, whatever. Yes. It was just that kind of a day. I didn't bother trying to fight with the kids to clean up or anything, so that's what I'm gonna do now. And if I can get that all done, then I can start working on the birthday party stuff. And then tomorrow, I'll just do the general kind of straighten up and stuff before all the friends and stuff get here. So, yeah, I'll check back. It's 9.38 now, and I'll show you, I'll show you my progress in an hour, and we'll see what I've gotten done. Well, hey, friends, let me tell you. I did a bunch of cleaning this morning. I'm sorry I haven't showed you yet or what I got at the store, but I will show you that after. It's time to go get the girls, but I'm stopping to meet somebody because I'm picking up something from one of those yard sales. Some Christmas lights on a good, good deal. I know, Christmas, but <laughs> I couldn't pass up a great big giant box of Christmas lights that all still work for a good deal. Anyways. Yeah, I really clean the dining room really well. It's the first time the dining room table's been completely cleared off in months. Um, I did the living room, the bathroom, and the playroom. The kitchen I've started to do, but it's not completely done because I knew I would have to make supper and everything. And uh, I had two loads of laundry hung out on the line. After all that, I had to lay down because my foot and right side were really, really, really aching. And luckily my husband was home, so he took Maze up to the exhibition that's just up the road from our house and watched some ox pulls and horse pulls and stuff like that. So they just got back 
and I'm gonna go in pick up some prescriptions pick up the girls meet my friend Nicole she's the, the friend I've mentioned a few times on my videos we went to school together we've been friends ever since we were little and she became a Grammy just a month after or two months after I became a Grammy so we're gonna try to plan a Grammy play date uh, one of these days this fall so she can bring her beautiful grandbaby uh, daughter Quincy over to play or I'll go over there or whatever we do I'll bring uh, Evie over to play with you know with her and we'll have a, a good old yarn or something so anyways yes so we're heading to town and I'll bring you with me <laughs> All right, guys, I'm home. It's 5.30. So this is the stuff I picked up this morning. The stuff that belongs in the fridge was in the fridge all day. I just took it out so I could show you. So what I got at the Dollarama were the three pizza pans. I got two of these for the littles. And a couple of things for prizes at the birthday party. And some toothpicks, because we were out. What I got at the, let me think, Walmart. I got three of each color, like the blue duotangs, green, orange, red, purple, and light blue for the girls. I got three things of regular pencils. I got ten boxes of crayons. I only meant to get nine, but I realized it picked up ten, so three boxes each for the kids this school year. I got these kind of pencils for my son with the little replacement leads for my teenager. And I got Mazziah a new backpack because her zipper broke yesterday. At Superstore, for the pizza, I got some Black Forest ham I'm going to cut up small to put on the pizza. Three blocks of cheese, two things of pepperoni, and Misha a backpack that comes with a lunchbox too. So, yes, everybody's all geared up with backpacks this year, so that's good. So I'm going to uh, put this stuff away, start shredding the cheese, and I got a package of hamburger in the fridge. I'm going to sizzle up so it's all scrambled hamburger and ready for the pizzas tomorrow. Oh, I got some mushrooms too. They're still in the fridge and red, red and orange peppers or something like that. I got that at Superstore too. So I'm going to prep all that stuff, but I'll bring you along when I do. All right. I just plopped the hamburger in the pan. You guys have seen me sizzle up hamburger enough. I think you'll know what it looks like, but I'll show you when it's all done. I just turned it on. so. Yeah, the kids are just having leftover barbecue stuff that my husband made yesterday, hamburgers and hot dogs, and there's sausages in there and pork chops. He barbecued all that stuff yesterday. He's a barbecuing addict, honestly. So we have enough supper for tonight and tomorrow if we wanted to, but tomorrow's the party, so everybody's eating pizza. But yeah, they can have their fill of stuff, and there's a little bit of pasta salad left. So I just reheated that and nuked it in the mic, and that's what they're eating now, so it's all good. So now I'm going to start on this. I'm going to bust out my food processor and do that cheese. Put it in a container and put it in the fridge. And last but not least, after I'm done all the other stuff, the mushrooms and onions and peppers, I'm going to make the dough and put it in the fridge. And then tomorrow I'll take it out in the morning and let it rise and continue on from there. But yeah, I'll start chunking this up and I'll be back. All right, 5.52 and the yeah. hamburger is done. May, stop for all more. No, you had a piece of cake. All he wants to eat is the rest of that cake. I'm going to strain this and... Oh, he bumped his noggin. Strain this and put it in a container for the fridge. I'll be back, guys. That cheese all, is all shredded. I need to find a container or a big bag to put that in. I'm just straining the hamburger now. I'll let it cool a bit and then I'll put that in the fridge. So now i got to chop up some onions and peppers. Yeah, and time check, it's 6.03. Actually, while I cut up the onions and peppers, I bought a, a package of pre-sliced mushrooms today. I know, but I was just trying to save myself some time. Um, I'm going to saute those up. Um, while I'm doing the slicing and dicing because these take a little while not super long but they're big chunks so I'm going to kind of cut them in half so yeah that'll be like a two bird scenario all 
I have some pepper thieves. I keep eating my peppers I cut up. Get out of here, you guys. It's for the pizza tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I put all that cheese in one of these big gallon um, Ziploc bags and I'm just waiting for that to cool down a little bit more and I'm going to put that in a bag too. So the peppers are over there frying, the mushrooms are done, now I need to slice up some onions. Oh I'm crying guys. Oh, There's two onions chopped up, I just turned the burner on and I'm just going to, I'm not going to cook them until they're browned or anything, just so they're kind of translucent and they'll be ready for the pizza topping tomorrow. Okay, so I just put that bag of cheese in the fridge, but here's the red, orange, and yellow pepper. There's the onion, mushroom, and the ham. I just sliced up in little cubes. I was going to saute it, but I didn't bother because that'll cook up real quick on top of the pizza. And here's the hamburger. I'm just going to let it cool a little bit more. It's here in front of the fan, and then I'll seal it up and put it in the fridge. So I'm going to just take a little break. It's 7.01, so I accomplished all of this. I forget what time I started, 5, 5.30, something like that, I forget. Uh, all done, in amongst people coming in and out and asking me this and that and this and that. I have the dishwasher loaded with the cutting board and food processor stuff, the big bowl up top that I had the cheese in. and. I'll put this stuff away and wipe my table off and then I'll make the dough in a little while. I just need to sit down and rest my bones a little bit. Alright, well my husband and Misha just got back from town. She went and spent some of her birthday money and he picked up some groceries so I just thought I'd show you. He got two things of hot Italian sausage. I needed some eggs for the cupcakes I'm about to make. I got the pan over there all washed. He uh, picked up some more coffee pods. A thing of mustard, some onions, a cabbage, two racks of ribs, and I guess his Michelinas were on sale. He got three of those for easy lunches or something for the kids. So yeah, I'm going to put this stuff away. I needed eggs for that cake mix so I'm going to make the cupcakes out of. So now I got them. Now we can make them. Oh, I'm frustrated. I was supposed to make that and I don't have any milk. I forgot to tell my husband to pick some up. So. I'm going to go downtown, just in the village little store here and get it, but it costs almost twice as much as it would have at the grocery store, but we're not driving back to town tonight, so I'm just going to run down and get that. Oh, I need my purse. Okay, I'm back. This is the cake I'm going to make. Um, I put half a cup of oil, a cup of milk, throw this together with three eggs, and that's it. So I'm going to whip it up and put it in the pan. So I'm making cupcakes and I got these at the dollar store the other day. So we're going to line up that tray and these will be the little pokers to go on top after they're all done. Okay, those cupcakes are in the oven now. So I'm starting on the first batch of pizza dough. I got this recipe from Noreen's Kitchen um, in the Needy Homesteader. They both did a video on it, but I think Heather from Needy Homesteader got it from Noreen. Um, yeah, and it makes uh, about five pizzas in my experience. So I'm just letting my yeast activate, and then I'm going to start adding the things. I have a video on this, um, and I make sure I mention these guys. So I'll put that down in the description box down below if you want to check it out to see exactly how I make it. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to just move. Yeah, sorry, my battery died. I'm making two batches of this, so I plan on making at least ten pizzas for the crowd tomorrow. So Cornelius is going to knead up this dough for me and I just took the cupcakes out of the oven so I'll let them cool a minute and take them out of the pan. There we have it. So I'm going to take this blob out of the bowl and I'm going to wrap it up in saran wrap and put it in a Ziploc bag and stick it in the fridge overnight. I've never done this before but they say you can do this and let it rise tomorrow. So fingers crossed this works. Um, I mean, when first comes to worse and it doesn't rise in the morning, I'll just have to make more dough, but I'm trying to save time. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I have saran wrap already laid out here. I'm about to spray it with some coconut oil and wrap it up tight and put it in the Ziploc. And then I'll make another batch of dough to do the same with. 
Okay, round number two. Let's begin. All right, while Cornelius is doing his thing, I'm going to empty the dishwasher so then I can load it back up again. Oh my goodness, guys. This is the first batch I did and it's still rising. I had it sitting in the fridge the whole time, so when I open the fridge tomorrow, it might be like overflowing with dough. That's the one I just finished. So I try to suck out all the air to the bags as much as possible and we'll just have to uh, we'll just have to keep our fingers crossed but it's very stiff like a basketball it's funny all right guys it's quarter to ten so I'm gonna start icing these with some whipped vanilla icing and I've let my oven cool off with the door open because I'm gonna hide these in the oven overnight so no little fingers can get into them but they'll be all done and ready for tomorrow <laughs> My teenagers keep me company, but I'm going to quickly throw together those treat bags. So let's get started. still up trying to get into the treat bags so I have 20 treat bags hopefully that'll be enough for tomorrow we'll see and hopefully they'll last <laughs> so here's a little package of 50 little water balloons let's see if I can do anything with this all right there's 48 little uh, water balloons there's 50 in a pack two of them had holes I have another pack of these and I am not doing the little ones again. I have a couple of big packs, like big balloons. I might do a, pa a pack or two of those and then that's it. But I'm going to save those for tomorrow because I am tired and it's 10 to 11. So I did get out my paper plates and the candle and the straws and stuff. So yeah, that dough, I'm really hoping that dough doesn't explode in my fridge. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, they say it slows down, but I mean, if it doesn't get too big, I can just pop it down and let it rise again, but I just don't want the dough to get too tough or anything. When I said that other one was like a basketball, it wasn't. It's like one of those dodgeball rubber balls. That's how it was. You could tell it was full of air, so, yeah. but I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, it's 10 after 11, and I filled up with Maze's help. Yes, he is still awake. Don't mess with that with that metal ruler, Maze. We are hitting the hay, but no, you don't want to pop it, and that'll pop it. Filled up, I don't know how many, at least 75 balloons, and I'm done, 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 done. So I'm going to start the dishwasher, and we're going to hit the hay. So what do we say, Maze? Well, look at these guys and tell them. That's right. You were a busy boy helping me today, weren't you? Yeah, um, what are we doing tomorrow? Um, guys, we're going to throw water balloons at Misha. We're going to throw water balloons at Misha? Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we got the dough made. Uh, cupcakes made. Pizza toppings prepped. Water balloons filled. I still have more balloons, but I don't know if I'm going to do any more. That was 
It wasn't hard. It was just not that much fun. It was fun having Maze for company, though. Just, we're not going to do any more tonight, Maze. It's past our bedtime. So I'm going to get up early, take that dough out. And, uh, birthday Sunday? Someday, yes, yeah, someday. And uh, I'm going to start making the pizzas around 10 o'clock. People are supposed to be here at 12, but it will take a while for that to rise again and uh, roll it all out and put it on the pans and dress it and all that stuff. So that's my plan. And the house isn't too disheveled, but we'll do a quick tidy. I'm going to get the kids to help me. And then it's going to be party time. So you guys are all invited to Misha's sixth birthday party. I know her bir actual birthday was yesterday. But we're having a big birthday party tomorrow with her friends and a bunch of little cousins and family and things like that. So, yeah, you guys, if you want to come for a good party, come on over because there's going to be a big frenzy of fun here. So, All right, guys, well, you have a good night. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But no big deal if you don't want to. That's okay, too. No hard feelings. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you. Yes, I do. Okay, guys. Uh, yeah. I'm going to have a good sleep, and I hope you do, too. I'll see you tomorrow. Come with your party hat on. Love ya. Bye. Boink.